Good morning you glorious gamers, hope you're all doing well today. We are back on some MX bikes and I have to admit, any time that I see a new Supercross track release on this game, I, I get a little bit happy in the pants. I am a Supercross man through and through. Uh, I think I always will be. I don't think there'll ever be a day where I'd rather do a uh, outdoors race than an indoors race. So we are back on Hunt Dog SX V2, which I'm sure as you can guess from the name, is his second go at it. I did ride his first one and if, if anyone remembers back, it was the track that had some very interesting objects placed around. Uh, I think there was uh, a few Shreks, there was the Iron Giant dotted around as well. And it wasn't a bad track by any means, it was pretty good fun. And I think the only thing that I wasn't a massive fan of then at least was the textures. And some of the jump faces were a bit off to me as well. And already I'm halfway around the lap, the track looks a lot better in terms of on track and off track decals. So massive improvement in that regard. The berms feel pretty good, it's very, um, very short and peaky. So I do believe it's going to be one of the more difficult SX tracks, but I'm here for it. I love a bit of difficulty. I think you can definitely step onto that table from there. And you're just going to kind of be watching me learn the track as we go. Uh, I've got a lobby up right now, which I've let everyone know my Discord to hop into. If you still haven't joined my Discord, I don't know why. It's in the description down below. Go and hop in there and then you can get take part in these videos with me. Unfortunately, I'm hosting this off my own internet today because... Again, my, my MXP server manager still isn't working. I don't know if that's the same across the board. If anyone else has that same issue, please do let me know. And I know that I haven't got to do anything about it. And it'll fix itself. If it is just me, then I might need to uh, contact Mr. Mr. Nico about it and see what's going on there. But yeah, no, no chance of it letting me connect and sort my server out. So we're stuck to, or limited, to 24 people. Uh, I suppose when you're on a, a Supercross track, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day, does it? Like, you can only get 22 on a gate anyway. That is a hell of a quad out that corner. That's going to be fun to try and stretch. And the, I'm on a 450, just because I feel like it makes the most sense for me, being the 450 guy. Oh my god, you step all the way over that table too. Uh, that means we'll be able to hit some big lines, hopefully, and get my very, very early Supercross practice in ready for, for January, I suppose. I'm kind of getting the the Supercross itch back already after I feel like I'm a bit closer in terms of Supercross pace than I am in outdoors pace to the top guys now there's a lot more people in this game that prefer outdoors and indoors so I tend to kind of take take advantage out of that and I, I always seem to have good Supercross series at least I mean I got second last season I got first year before that and I can't remember the year before that. I think 2021 was when I was switching back and forth between 250 and 450. I might have to do some digging and see what happened. That finish line has a hell of a kick on it. Um, but one thing that I would like to do is... Oh my Christ. When I've finished creating my Riverside MX track that I'm building at the moment, I'd love to start dabbling in on, on the Supercross side of things. And what I'd like to do is on the MX Simulator forums... There are some like Photoshop jump and corner templates on there. What I'd love to do is download that, go about kind of resizing everything to make it work in MX bikes, and then I'll just have this template that I can use to just create a bunch of different crazy moments, <laughs> a bunch of different supercross tracks. So you should probably be able to pump them out in a in a good amount of time. It would just be the visuals that would take me a while to do. Um, but I wouldn't even mind doing that and then making like a mini mini Lin series. Uh, I did mention in yesterday's video it would be nice to do a series on uh, the Hurren Arena Cross tracks when they're all finalised, once all five of them have released. And I feel like a lot of other like bigger people in the community, they've all hosted their own thing by now. Um, I know that the guys at FXR, when they were approaching me at first, asked if there's anything that they can do to get more involved in the game. And I did say that hosting a series and giving away like prizes for the winners would be a good idea to kind of show your face in the game a bit more as well so we can see if we can get that involved and there's a lot of uh, exciting opportunities there what i do need to do is try and work out my lines on this track god i'm rusty let's go round here we go step on step off triple oh that triple's a stretch i'm wondering if maybe i should go on the, the yamaha could have been a bit more of a viable option around here. I do think the Yamaha is a much better Supercross bike for me and the Honda I seem to prefer outdoors. I feel like we can get some lines down. I want to try and hit that quad after the finish line at least and then get the rest of the rhythm correct. These jumps... What? Why? <laughs> These jumps do um, do boot you pretty high up in the air, which I'm a fan of. I like the uh, peakier jumps in Supi. I feel like it makes the most sense. It makes you have to be a little bit more, more precise overall. 
What is wrong with people? Right, you're getting kicked. Jesus Christ, I don't understand what's wrong with people's mentality. Okay, we go again. Right, let's hit this finish line. Boot you up to the moon. So I, I, I prefer the peaky jumps on these uh, these tracks. Let's try and hit this quad. Oh, yeet. Oh my god, I overjumped it a little bit. And then a little double out. And I want to try and quad into this section as well. Step over the table. Which we did. And then trip. Oh, that's a stretch. Holy. And then on. And then off. Okay, right. I'm getting... It's, it's actually really difficult. I didn't expect it to be this hard. I don't think there was any any mention on the page of it being one of the harder SX tracks. Right, let's go on. And I've also I've whacked the erode up because in the comments on MXB mods of this, apparently it erodes really well. I've got it on point five. And you can see it's actually getting like quite a quite a deep rut in the corners rather than just like one super skinny one. Which I think could actually will help on this game quite a lot. You know, like these these bikes don't handle the really skinny deep ruts well at all. So to make them a little bit fatter, to give your front end a little bit more room, W. I uh, no no idea how that all works behind the scenes with the road. Again, that's something that I'm going to have to try and uh, tackle towards the end of my track building experience. Probably, I wonder if I'll, I'd, I'd probably just leave that until the very very end. You know, once I've done all the texturing, got it looking how I want it to, um, done all the timing and the objects and such around the track, I'll probably leave that until the very end because it doesn't really need anything else to move around. All right, can we get the triple this time? No. I'm wondering if you're meant to step on. Oh, as collisions. I'm wondering if you're just meant to step onto that table and not step over it, because the takeoff... Oh, yeah, there's not not much of a takeoff, like not much of a lip to be able to triple that. I'm going to try going on off and see if that helps at all. I need to remember that I can slow down a little bit. Let's make sure that I'm not taking anybody out. All right, let's go... Round to the right, we'll step on, and then off. Then can we triple this? We can. God, that sends you high. Triple, double out, please don't land. There we go. And then go on, off, this triple. There we go, much lower gears, much more helpful. Then triple out. Lovely. That's the thing. But this is why I love Supercross so much, is when you then do get a rhythm correct, it feels so nice and flowy. I absolutely love it. Uh, especially once you've got the whole track dialed and you can link an entire lap together. And oh my god, that's not how you link a lap together. Jesus! Oh my... Help! I'm stuck! Help! Don't think I'm going to be able to hit this triple now. Double it. So uh, Everyone's riding nice and clean other than that one person that had to uh, eject OC Okaz. I'm surprised that we had it in this lobby today because it's not like it's a, a proper deady lobby. It's just people being idiots. Let's, oh, let's follow Ritzo in. I want to try and go hit this quad again. Quad oh, God. Oh, can you see? I don't know if I don't know if that's pre-built or if that's been done by the Erode. Let me see if I can get a close-up of that. On the landing, oh, I don't know how well this will display. On the landing here, if I bring up this real quick. But uh, across the top of the the landing, there's little like ruts starting to form where people are landing it or coming up a little bit short. It's not like perfectly smooth, which that looks really sick. And I'm wondering, I'm wondering if that is erode. If so, that'd be really nice when like, the lobby builds up more and more and more, and then it just suddenly gets deeper and deeper as you go up. I'm actually, how many people we got in here now? I'm surprised. It's it's currently four four p.m. on a Monday. Like, why are people not at work or at school? Um, I might, I'm gonna get a race going. Why not? Just for the lols. It is only uh, a five lapper. Nothing, nothing amazing. And I'm, I'm gonna leave the erode as it is. But uh, I'm interested to see how this uh, this track races. I imagine it'll be a little bit of carnage if I don't get an amazing jump. I might even have to uh, scumbag it a little bit and hit it with the old Linda launch. How have I been done this dirty with like a middle gate compared to everyone else's <laughs> like inside? Oh, it's not a great jump, but nobody on the inside got an amazing jump. I should be able to go deep. That's a really good first corner, actually. Like the way he's made that loop out into the rollers gives you lots of space. Oh, that went further than I thought. Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh God, this is not going to be a good run through the whoops. No. <laughs> Send help. Oh, yeah, yeah. Scumbag it. Let's go through the bells a little bit. No, it's all the bells do have collisions, which uh, so, some tracks I like it on, some tracks I'm not the massive fan. I think it all depends on the scaling. Oh, God, I'm just tiptoeing around everywhere. Let's try. I don't know what don't know what line I want to do now. I'm out of Go on, off. Let's go, 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 go. Right, I, need to I just need to step on here. Not over. On, off. Oh, Lord. That's why I'm such a bike magnet, it's unreal. On, off again, right, we're up into P3. Step on, step off, hit the triple, dab the brake. Oh, I'm so dead. Oh my god, suspension's taking it like a champ. I don't even know what suspension I'm running. I went to the last round of whatever I'd done in Supercross and just copied a setup over, so I don't know if it's if it's good or not. <laughs> right, let's get 
get the power to the ground. We need to hit the big bark in. We've got Aiden out in front, who somehow always manages to get into these lobbies. Right, absolute respect. If there's one person I've seen in every single one of these lobbies, I hope it's him. And then we've got uh, my arch nemesis from uh, the GP of Argentina in P2, Mr. Bradley. Hopefully he's uh, <laughs> being a nice guy these days. Uh, four seconds behind. I must have had cuts or something. Let's go step over here. Oh, there's mistakes being made in the lead. Mistakes were made. I'm going to tuck in behind. Step on. I've jumped too far. Step off. I'm going to have to double. I don't want to risk trying to send that and then messing up. And then we'll go on, on off to get a better run out. I love how the road's forming on that over under too. I am. There's no chance of me getting over that. Jesus. God, I'm up. I feel like I need to run a shore gear in on this Honda. It doesn't have like all of the oomph from the bottom end like the Yamaha does. It's a lot more of a like a smooth power, which is why I like it in the outdoors. So blasting through here, you can see the road really forming in these corners now, which is big old W. And then I'm going to get on the brakes a little bit sooner because I keep almost going over the top of this uh, this one. Go big old triple, send you to the moon. I love triples that have some booters on them because you just get to. Think about what you're doing for a while, get to have a bit of a breather. Oh god, then booter of a finish line jump. Go around. I can't believe how like deep these corners are getting now. Let's go quads. Oh, jumped it a bit too far. Get a little bit of a front end tuck going on there. Do see a yellow flag up ahead though. Who's messing up? That's Aiden that's messed up. And we'll go triple. Lovely. Or double into the corner. And then let's try stepping off with a bit more speed, so this triple should be easier. There we go. Oh, I'm not getting all the way out again. Should be fine. I usually don't mind like over jumping things like that when the bike's in a completely straight line and I can land quite front wheel high. Usually you're able to uh, ride away from it when that is the case. I'm getting absolutely barked on this race. God damn. Maybe I'm maybe I'm washing supercross as well. <laughs> I still still enjoy it more, if I'm being honest. Round to the left, please don't pull away. God, made me poo poo my pants a little bit. Alright, what have we got? We've got two laps left to go. So, alright, let's try and on the burners a little bit. Losing a lot of the time to the lead though. Go quadruple into the Duble, Michael Duble. Round to the right, I want to go step on, off, I want to triple this, and I want to double out. I'm going to try going wide here to give me more speed off this dragon's back, so then hopefully and step off with more speed, get this triple, and then get the quad out. Lovely stuff. Get the Yai Yi into the rhythm section. I haven't taken this inside yet. Let's try this. Ooh, that's... That could actually be better than the outside was. Please don't pump me. Absolute dickheads, I swear to Christ. Oh, what's wrong with these servers these days? Oh, I, I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with people. I always have to try and ruin everyone's fun, but that's a good part. Is I get all these people's uh, UIDs and then blacklist them from the Deddy server and they never get to race again. I love having that sort of power. Uh, one thing that is embarrassing that I always laugh at is when people try to take me out, but they're so bad at the game, they miss. <laughs> like you just have to quickly put on the brakes a little bit and they go flying off the track. That does satisfy my soul a little bit. Like, that's a massive W. But yeah, don't... Um, don't be like Ritzo or the other guy that I had to kick. And then people on, in the online community will actually uh, respect you. And not, not hate you completely. But we are coming to an end of this race here. I am quite a big fan of this track. It's definitely difficult, as, as Supercross tracks should be, which I'm a big fan of. And honestly, Hunt Dog, I think the comparison from this track to your last one, this one is so much better. It's unreal. Even in terms of visuals and on track as well. Like, big old W. I would love to see some more of you in the future 100% and I got yeah I, I mean I gained a little bit towards the end I think Bradley might have made a couple of mistakes or I had like one and a half clean laps in there but uh, yeah I uh, I got absolutely humbled in that one so GG's all around hope you guys have enjoyed this video the track will be in the description for you to download if you'd like to and uh, that, that'll do it for me have a lovely rest of the day whatever you're up to uh, leave a like if you enjoyed subscribe to the channel if you're new all that good stuff and I'll catch you in the next one peace